Alright, we are getting ready. I showed up late and uh, have not practiced and, well, you can see that on the board. I'm just using the Lucas Oil set, uh, changing a few things around on that. We'll see if we can do anything with it. I gotta remember that the track was a little fresher when everyone else got in here. So, we'll see what we can do once qualifying goes. I think we're fairly close on times, but um, not 100% sure. So, working on a new project for a video, and I made a big breakthrough today, right before this, so I uh, was testing that out, trying to do some stuff, and I uh, lost track of time, so we will uh, probably be a little bad here, but hopefully I can get it turned around once we get to the main and just keep the tires on it, but high side is going to be where you want to be. You can make the middle and bottom work, but uh, yeah, I think we're going to have a few cautions in these just because it is a pretty tight, tough track. But we'll see what we can get. Zachary out front and Logan in second. So let's see how we qualify. And uh, good luck to everyone. If I can out qualify my dad and my brother, I will be happy. But I am guessing we're probably going to be a dead last queue. We'll take one around the middle and then we'll go top line for the second lap just so that we get a lap in green, green, green. and okay. uh, yeah, maybe can beat some people if they hit the wall on both tries. One more lap. If we can get a 13-0, that'll be fine. 13.08. Perfect. That's fine. Let's see if we can get it around the top without getting too close to the wall. And, well, that was pretty terrible. Chicken Looks black, like 13.0 is going to be our time. And I was slower around the top because, well, when am I not? So we got a couple of new people in here, I think. Maybe just one. Maybe he ran last time. But uh, Ben right now up front with the 12-7. Uh, Blake at a 12-7. Tracy goes an 8. Zachary behind him. Logan, Mark. Blake takes over the top spot with a 6. And uh, Gavin at a point five. He is struggling. Let's send him what I've got right now. I didn't really change anything, so I assume he would be doing the same. Just changed the gear so that I could run either top or bottom. If I was going to stick with the bottom line, I'd probably change the gear a little bit more. But luckily, we're right in the middle. We outran my dad. AJ beat us, though, just barely with the 936. And, uh, yeah, it should be, should be fun. Uh... 20, 25, and 75. So, everyone's going to be in all races. We're inverting a few more for the second race. So, just a different track the way you got to run it because of the really tight corners. So, he'll get it figured out. I think we've got everyone's paint scheme, but I'm going to go ahead and reload since I uh, loaded in late and did not do 
do that. So Logan gets the pole due to qualifying. But six, yeah. The invert has helped the racing. There's Ben. My brother is uh, in the Mike Wyorda car. And uh, yeah, let's grid up, go racing, and hopefully it's some yeah, good racing. But there's a lot of cars on a small track. People are going to hit the tires, people are going to hit the walls, mistakes are going to happen. This is. The next few weeks are. Lucas went well. Lucas went very well compared to what I thought it was going to be. I know this place is a little wider, but that bottom line is flat, so that kind of narrows things up, and uh, the wall is right against the track, so that narrows things up. One left to green. And it's much tighter corners, so. That's going to make it really interesting, but I think, I think we'll be okay to miss it a little lower, though. But let's see what kind of racing we get here for 20 laps. And what we had to check up there, John got really sideways on the uh, start, and we were going to pass him if we didn't check up. AJ's up here lifting the left front like he's Slide Kyle Burke in the early right. 2000s. We've got a yellow. yellow There's a three going around. Pit road is closed. Pass bus and we're going to have to line car, things back up. So, unfortunate for uh, Mark, he goes around. May have had some help. And now it's going to be single file restarts, which means that we are going to be spread out quite a ways. Pit road is now open. Missed the T, but he'll figure it out. Pit road is closed. Do we have just looked like a bunch of people were coming out of the pits. I don't know what the hell that was. No, it was just that they're coming out of the corner. All right, so single file restart. Thankfully, we're in tenth. The rear of the pack is going to be so far behind. Going to get us to lap traffic, but uh, it's better than double file restarts. So we are going. Let's uh, watch this and make sure we don't get any cautions on this restart. And if we do, remember to clear the black flags. We get really hung up there. AJ's going catfishing. He's got that thing set up to just rotate right where he needs it to be. I am still on the same type of set we've been running where it's uh, heavy on the right front so I can't really rotate it around the bottom like I want to but it looks like AJ's moved up a bit it's gonna be difficult to get any passing done uh, in these shorter races I think I'm trying to figure out if I'm too tight or too loose Probably just not doing a good enough job on throttle control. AJ's getting passed by Ryan. That was quick and done with. Now he's going to go up to the top side. Try to find a little speed up there. We probably need to head up there as the grape is catching us. That's why I don't like running up top. Because I don't rotate it early enough. And then it really messes me up. AJ's headed back down to the bottom. I don't 
know if that's where he really should be, but he's decided to go that way. We'll see if he pops up in front of us, though. He stays low. Not a good drive through that corner. Let's see if I can... I don't know what I need to do here. I mean, I'm getting it figured out. I don't want to do the high entry, though, because I just suck at it, so we got to do this a little bit of a slider here. Just because that's what this setup likes, is doing slider line. And we're starting to pick up the pace. I'm starting to get comfortable. I just needed to get some laps under my belt. And we're 15 laps in to a 20 lap race. I only had the one caution. Yep. Single file restart help. Got the 77 getting lapped up here. He's just really not able to get it to click right now. Kurt in the 74 is catching us. We're nearly going out of the park there. He is flying here. Looks like he's grabbing the wall a bit on entry as well, so. Not sure if that's helping him much, but he's going to have to find a different way around us, which he just goes and has no problem doing that. Oh, big push. I could not get it to turn back down. Thankfully, we didn't stuff him. He goes flying by us. And we've got purple cars all over the place behind us. But it's going to be a 10th place finish for us. And, uh, well, not too terrible. Could have been worse. Nice run. Solid work. Alright, let's... Give two minutes. Let's try to change some stuff up. Let's go tighter on that. And can we get this thing to pass if it settles? We can. All right. We're going to just go with this. <laughs> Gavin's just struggling there. It's, uh, it's interesting how it works for some people. They're not grid set. We want eight track state twenty five. And uh, well, we don't get to see that. And now we got to let this thing settle again. Come on, settle, settle, settle. It's probably our problem that we're running so much left rear. Let's hop in the car so we don't have to do that again. Line up on the outside. Pit road is closed. Um, looks like we're going to need how much fuel are we going to need? Seven and a half gallons for the final. But I'm happy with how that went. That was way better racing than I thought. Now we've got Zachary and Logan starting just ahead of us as the top eight rotated, which I didn't tell anyone about. They can look at it, though, if they're in session and know, but no one's really, since every race counts for the same amount of points, no one's really playing the uh, game to try and get the invert, because all it's going to do is hurt you points-wise. But... It's time to go again. Uh, car on the inside second row is looking like he's got his wheel turned all the way left. Let's hope he doesn't accidentally put it in reverse and back up into the guy. Nope, but he's turning hard left. I'm a little worried about all these grapes behind us, though. They were... Uh, 
looking quick and the track's not really changing much, so they're going to get quicker and quicker. Let's hope that this has changed enough for us to, or the setup changes were get ready. Going green. good enough to give us a the little more feel in. that I want. But let's see if we can go a few laps without getting a caution, keep everyone tight. Green flag, green flag. As we hit the wall instantly on the straightaway. You're up top, three wide. And Two wide. Clear inside. We just need to find a way to make this thing go forward. Inside. Clear inside. 16.113. Car inside. I feel more comfortable. Oh, but the rear end is just kind of wobbling all around on exit. That's hurting us. Kind of backing the whole field up. I need to just get more aggressive with my entry. I think that's the problem is it's fine when we drive it in deep, but when we don't, then it starts to wobble on itself. And there is, there's no moisture out here in the middle of the track anymore, so everyone's just kind of going wherever they can to get the car to feel good. We're just spinning the tires up. We got one going around there, and we get clipped there. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed right now. Luckily not in the caution. Hopefully that didn't cause any damage. We gotta get caught up to the pace car and get everyone lined up. Pit road's open. Um, so it looks like we are in uh, like seventh. Lead guys leaving massive gaps right now between each other, and that is screwing the back of the field over. We're just going to keep pacing hey, until these guys open. close up. Closed. Pit road is closed. Otherwise the field's going to be like a lap down instantly. So, All right. Got everyone closed up now. I don't want that happening as we're coming to green because it's just going to accordion massively. We got a few spots out of that, it looks like. But that means that a few people got taken out. Single file restart, though, so we'll try to... Uh, we'll try to get a decent start here and run it into the corner deep. Green flag, green flag. Grab the ball, because that's all we're going to do. On restarts. I cannot get this thing to drive, and 14's got to jump on the brakes because Bombler got sideways, and 14 jumps on the brakes to not hit him. That gets everything jammed up there, so. Rack and uh, hopefully get everyone lined up quicker this time. Letter 07, carbine. Pit road's open. Pit road is closed right now. He's just, he's leaving way too big of a gap right now. And that's just getting everyone strung out. Hopefully he's got the message now. Looks like everyone is lined up good. We can go green this time. And, uh... Hopefully get into a long run like we ended the first race with. Green, green, green. But 
right now, I am not very good off the corner. It's not very good anywhere, it seems. I'm not sure what we need to change to fix that. And the biggest thing is not being able to see if I'm going to run into the guys that I'm entering a little lower than. I know we could run up a little higher, but that's not our main issue. Colton's got it figured out, though. He's going to be getting some runs on us like that. Just leave the outside open for him. I am definitely slow and struggling and all over the place and <laughs> no grip. I'm jamming up the whole pack. AJ's even coming back at us. Alright, let's try it. Well, we tried to go up top and we have broken the bar. Car in P1, just set the fastest lap, 12.89, inside, 16.045, clear inside, and the end of the race. Fight. We're going to be starting way early. in the back, be ready. and that is why we're not going to the top ever again. Let's take a look at what is going on. Well, the car is dancing. So happy to be off the track and not looking like an idiot anymore. Who's leading this thing? We've got John in the 15 leading it and just pounding the wall. Yeah, we've got a caution. Are we live? We are, and that is Kurt in fifth place has gone around. What has happened there? Uh, looks like he goes low, and then 88 turns it down off the corner, and, uh, 88 was up in the wall and turned down there. I think if I was watching this whole race, I would, uh, go ahead and move the 88 to the back for that, but try to get everyone closed up here. Pace car is just fucking flying around right now. Is it gonna slow down or not? Why is the pace car going so fast? Maybe it's not. Maybe everyone's just going slow. I don't know what's going on now. The pace car is just hauling ass. What is happening? I mean, the pace car is just gunning it on the straights. I don't know what's going on. Alright, we're gonna... I think everyone's caught up. Pace car didn't want to slow down. I'm glad I seen that, otherwise I'd be getting pissed at people. But, we are going back green. Back here where we were, and Zachary's got around the high side. Colton in sixth place, looking to go fifth. He's having a really good run. We got uh, Dylan and then Kevin, and we got another yellow. And that it looks like Jarek has uh, gone around, yeah. Looks like someone got a black flag. I don't know why they would have. Let's go take a look. If they jumped it, then... Let's see what happened. Now, let's go back to the restart. I don't know what's going on. We're not going to worry about it. Black flags don't just get handed out.
let's see what we have happening now. Five to go at the line. And everyone is away clean. Don't need to clear anything. AJ sitting in seventh. A little bit of a push there. Around the top side and coming along is Kevin White in the three. He's the one that, or not the, no, the three is Mark. He's working around the top. Everyone's just banging into the wall. Shouldn't have uh, went to this track, but it works. Zachary goes for a slide job on the missing Logan, who might be on track, but none of us know. There he is, and he pulls to the infield. Last lap. He's going to start in the back with us. And John is going to come away with the win. Ryan second, Zachary third, Kevin, Colton, Dylan, Mark, Blake, Ben, and uh, we got some people. And uh, looks like Logan fell out as well. So, all right, we've got to. Let's go to uh, our setup for the main. Uh, I, I should just scrap what I'm using, but. We're going to go with uh, this. We're going to change the gearing. We need eight gallons. Let's go feel what this track feels like. Go feel what it feels like. See what it feels like. And fresh track now for the 75 lapper. Make sure we have enough fuel. Make sure it's not too tight. Oh my god, it is really tight. Go high, car 100, 16, just set the fastest lap, 13.225, 14.253, slow car down low, car stopped up high, low car up high. Probably a good thing that we're starting in the back because this thing is just super nose push tight, but uh, the track is going to go away. And hopefully, we'll be a little quicker than everyone else who is sliding around. But at the moment, this is not the way to go with the setup. Maybe, I don't know what I need to do. Oh, that doesn't feel too bad. I mean, AJ's blasting past us quickly. Yep, but if I lift off instead of uh, throwing it in and then lift off, then we are nose-shoving massively. We are going to be just in the way out here. And in the wall. This goes with the slide job. I'm not trying to slide job, it's just this fucking thing won't turn down there. Can I get it to turn down here? Not even pitching it like that. Nope, that didn't work. This thing is so fucking tight right now. Alright. Um, this thing is shit. No, Tracy message something. I don't know what he said. He told us to clear the black. I didn't see that, though. Uh, what am I doing? I'm so lost right now. I guess 
let's loosen this thing up. We're gonna loosen it up one click. Because I know it's going to get much looser later in the race. But uh, where are we starting? We are back here in 19th. And uh, we're going to have our work cut out. Top 12 invert. So, oh god. <laughs> My dad is on pole. This, this is interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, good luck to the field. We've got 22, no, 21 of us out here. And, uh, yeah, hopefully the pace car calms itself down because we were not getting caught up on the uh, other other uh, pace laps when we were watching, but this one is going to be interesting because the track is going to go away. But we are really tight and terrible right now due to lack of practice, so... Um, yeah, Gavin might beat us here. Oh, Gavin just vanished. Hopefully he wasn't forgetting about fuel. He is in the pits. Jets up, 99. Car. Sure Gavin knows he's by. okay to exit. I think he went back to change fuel or something. Get ready, going green. We'll have to probably give him a wave around okay, too, because when you start in the pits, it puts you a lap down. But I assume things are going to get crazy early green, because green, green. Uh, just the mix match of where everyone is on the grid. Car We're going to just putt around no here, watch ahead. Gavin outside. has come out of the pits. It looks like he's on the lead lap, so outside that's good news. Car outside, clear we are we're going four, slower four, than we ever outside, have and outside, keeping up, clear. but that means the front of the field is going to be catching outside. us. But we got a long outside, ways clear, to go, and outside, everyone knows that the clear, track outside, is going to change a lot. Go Jerry go gets in low four, again. Five, four, we have to just clear, hit outside, the brakes for that. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. And clear, now the front end clear. is shoving. If this thing doesn't loosen up, then um, <laughs> we're gonna go laps down. Oh, and Gavin is a lap down. It looks like so. First yellow. We'll try to give him one lap back. He might go multiple. My dad is still leading the race. So we are just putting around here right now because I know the faster I go, the tighter it's going to get and we're going to shove the nose. Right now, we're keeping up with everyone and we got to yell. Alright, so we're good. And that's my dad. Alright, let's get Gavin waved around. Wave around. Left 
Vista 77 Carbide. It's going to be a mess of getting everyone lined up and gavin around, but looks like my dad got going again. From second place to last place. We'll see what happened with him. But now we are all the way at the back. Gavin's still trying to work his way around the field. Closed. Pit road is closed. He's got a long ways to go. One to go. Next time by. Hang on, we're not going green, not going green. Hang on, we're not going green, not going green. Alright, we should open. be good now. And uh, we can get back to racing. Seven laps in. Well, we weren't even racing, we were just really uh, pacing around with the field. But now that we are restarting single file, uh, things are going to go a little bit quicker. But we're gonna have a lot of this accordion happening back here. About to go green. Stay focused. So uh, we will try to get a decent start. But biggest thing is don't get involved in anything stupid. But it should be a little spread out now, so. Hopefully, people can start going forward. I'm sure my dad's going to come flying around us if he had the speed to stay up there for seven laps, but... The line I want to take is just bad because of the line everyone else is running. <laughs> it's just... It's not good news. We can get to the inside of people, but it's right at the exit. Right when they're trying to turn down, possibly, and it can cause us issues. And we got Jarek into Kevin, and then Blake into Jarek, and Jarek flipping over the tires. Let's hope we can all get lined up quickly now and go back to racing fairly quick so that this doesn't take too long. But yeah, uh, feeling okay now. Feeling like the car is coming back to something I can drive as the track's starting to uh, dry out. But the super, super tight setup. It's not working here. When we get to Eldora, it'll be fine. It might work at I-55, which is up next. But for here, uh, it's just not. I need a wider track for this set to work. But the one thing, people might blow off their tires if we get a long enough run. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Parking it. Green, green, green. Car stopped up high. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single Clear all because pit road is closed. Letter sixteen carbide. You had the position when the sure yellow flag came out. Everyone had to go left of that. Who the hell is the sixteen? Okay, everything's broken now. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Pit road is now open. Let it do what it's saying to do. It's because he had a penalty that is putting him up there, I think. Because we weren't the crash. I mean, we were part of it, but they shouldn't have got their spots. But I think it went to the is closed right now. lap before the caution or something. I have no idea. Just going to pace down here so that we don't One left to green. get involved in that. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. All right. Let's see what happens now. Green flag, green flag. 
Well, we're going to be miles behind, but maybe we can figure out how to go quickly now. Clear up top. Only six seconds back to the leaders. And my dad is making a pass on us. We need to get around Jerry because he is just slow and getting way too sideways in the corners as he was last week, so. We'll just roll around the bottom here. Literally just roll around. Five seconds back to the lead. Once we clear Jerry, we'll try pushing a bit, but we're finally getting the green run, so hopefully we stick with it. Although we're going to probably go a lap down and then just be out of the race, essentially. Yep, we got a wreck, possibly. Yep. Maybe it's just someone running around the bottom, or... Yeah, it looks like Kevin's running around the tires. We're okay, though. My dad is making up time. bottom seems to be working well. I think Gavin probably is overdriving the bottom because I would have never thought that going as slow as we are and just rolling off throttle was going to work there. Good news is my dad always goes to shit after a restart, after a long run, so... Hopefully that happens, otherwise it's going to be uh, pretty difficult to beat him this week. Four seconds back to the leader, so we're actually holding pretty strong with them now. And with us rolling the bottom, if we do catch traffic, that's going to be good news for us. Kind of wish I did a gear change, but really this is just preventing us from spinning the tires up on exit, so we're losing Gavin a bit. Yeah, it gets way too sideways on entry there. Pushing it too hard now. Gavin, it looks like he is losing time. I think he's just probably overdriving that bottom. And the bottom's starting to get slick, so... I think my dad started getting too loose there, so he decided to go up. And uh, that is going to give us a spot because it's really slow, slow, boring line around the bottom is just paying off. It's weird because it doesn't sound fast. It doesn't sound fast at all, but it's working. 13.341 And we're 35 laps in. Gavin's worked his way back towards us. He's catching up with Dan. Leader's 3.6 behind us. 
So they've gained a little bit, but not as much as I thought they would. We've just got to keep managing right around the bottom here. Blake getting just a little too sideways off the corner, not going forward. He's having to keep it from spinning rather than going forward, so we're uh, being as tight as we are, it's working out here. I just can't believe how little throttle I'm using. And I mean, it's, it's working. We're not the fastest car on track, but we're passing people. And uh, as the tires wear and heat comes into play, who knows what's going to happen here. We got the grape just ahead of us, so we're back right around where we should have been had I not put it in the fence and taken myself out. Just got to keep a lane up there for Blake. And uh, not get too excited on throttle. Go a little lower and slower. It feels like the lower and slower I go, the further we pull ahead of everyone. moment here soon. Up the banking Car on the inside. I got us a little sideways. And here comes the leaders one and a half seconds back from us now. Car outside. But if it goes green, we can still get a top 10 possibly. So for I-55, I think we're going to do 75 as well. And uh, then for Eldora, we're going to start with a fresh track and do 100 laps. And uh, that will be the end of this series. And then all future series, I'm going to just go six weeks just to allow us to rotate through things a little quicker. 1.2 behind. Let's just keep it that gap. Getting a little loose, but 1.4 now. Dan is a lap down. He started on the front row. Was he involved with my dad in that wreck? Clear up top. I don't know. Hopefully nothing stupid happened with scoring. 1.4 back to the leader now. So we're holding even. We could just uh, get a yellow. I got a quick coming up over that hump though. Out of four. That's pitching us out and slowing us down. Amazingly, the lead group has gotten around most of the lap traffic without issues, so that's good. 1.6 to the leader, 2.1 to the leader, so they might be slowing each other down or 
Just looking at it at different locations on track. I don't need to look at my delta bar. We got a slow car ahead, and we got Tracy on track, but no yellow. Now we got to find our way around uh, Kevin before the leaders gain too much on us, which is going to be difficult because he's taken our line. Not that it's my line, but I was going to try to cut under him. He did not do what I thought he was going to do there. That's what I needed. Car outside, clear up top, 13.8. Oh, big no shove. Car outside, up into him. Clear up top, Sorry, outside. we had to get the fenders outside out. Is clear. Leaders are coming to lap us. The leader is coming up on you, the not at five. Car outside, that puts us P10. And 9. everyone one, else is the on the other side of the track, apparently, since we can't see anyone in front of us. Two seconds back, 1.7. All right, I gotta move my line up to the middle just a bit. 13.667. 10 to go. I feel like we're faster than the leader right now. But that doesn't do us any good unless we get a caution, and even then it's going to be difficult to do anything. Two and a half seconds ahead of the leader. We just unfortunately track position and uh, no luck on the cautions, which is perfectly fine because having a long run like that has been great. And hopefully uh, they're having a fun race up front and we don't have too many wall riding issues. Screwed that corner up massively. Coming up to lap Gavin. And my dad, and Colton. So we've put a whole lap on them. Don't need to try to push it. Just keep these tires under us, and if we get a yellow, try to beat AJ. Because he is just ahead of us. Well, I kind of wish I would have done 100 laps. Uh, Ryan is the leader right now, but it sounds like they have wrecked on the final lap. And that is Kurt, unfortunately, might have got wrecked out of the lead or near the front. We'll go take a look at it. We get ninth. And, uh, you know what? That thing came came alive at the end. 83.76 on the rears. I am sure that is probably the best because, uh, <laughs> I did not press the gas. Yeah, Gavin's not terrible. Logan went 17th to 2nd. That's impressive. Yeah, I figured Kurt probably got stuffed. We'll go see what happened. But first, we got to see... What happened to my dad. And not be clicking on practice. 
may have to remove someone from the league. We'll see. I think everyone knows that I will handle things. They don't need to get involved and call out people. Uh, so that's feature. These guys are getting into each other here. Dan into the wall. And then my dad going to the high side, up into the fence. And then turns down in front of him, nearly got himself wrecked. And then he goes into the corner and runs into him. Yeah, so that's all on him, especially since he's got VR. He shouldn't. Then we go a couple more laps and uh, have something else happen. That was up ahead of us, wasn't it? Tracy nearly gets into the back of Blake. And then Jarek does kind of the same thing, gets too hot into the corner, and then they run into each other. Then we have the restart issue. And uh, let's go see what happened on the last lap. Let's just watch it from the stands and see. Yeah, so we does a half-ass attempt at a slide job and then still comes up when it's too late. That just breaks Kurt. And then... Then he drives down and, uh... hits Ryan. But let's see if he was actually in control of his car. Yeah, they get stuck together there. I'm not gonna call that, but, uh... He's definitely warning bad bad move at the end and uh yeah we're gonna say it's a racing deal but if it happens too many more times then we will uh adjust as needed so uh it sucks for the people involved in that uh if you're gonna go for it go for it but um yeah Pretty crazy, though, that we got that big of a run there. I did not think we were going to get that, and um, unfortunately, my view was very boring. So, uh, yeah, just not, not good. I mean, we were good. It just took a long time to get to that good. So, um, let's take a look at the results for the season. And going into the final two races, Logan still massively ahead of Zachary, but that can change instantly because every race is worth 50 points, so you can get 150 points in one night. So still 300 points out there. Kevin just ahead of me, and then we got Ryan, Gavin, Nick, Tracy, Colton, Dan. So hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.